What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. Your man back with another reaction um, of Attack on Titan. I am ready to go. Thank you guys so much, man, for all the support that you guys have been giving the video. Um, so, last episode, you guys have explained to me a lot of things that was happening in that episode, um, helping me to understand the armbands. And also explaining to me that the girl, the, the girl that was walking around, she, came, she was on crutches and stuff, that that was the cart titan. Now, um, I didn't, I, I didn't pick up on that. I knew she was in the room. I knew it was only a meeting for titans, basically. Um, but the reason why I, I didn't pick up on it, I was thinking, I, I didn't, wasn't really wondering if she was a titan or not. So that's why it didn't really click with me. But in any case, thank you guys so much for pointing that out to me. So now I know, so because you've spent so much time bending over, and I do realize too that uh, as in from some videos that I've been watching that has not been like spoilerish, I've been watching this other channel on YouTube that kind of explain the things that they leave out and what they, what they have covered in the manga for these two episodes that has gone already. Um, so I watched this video, I don't remember the name of the channel, but, um, where they were explaining what episode up on, like, episode two, um, what part of the, like, how many chapters they're covering in, in the anime as the show, and what they have left out, things that they've left out, and stuff like that, kind of give us a little bit more context behind what is going on in the anime right now, certain things that was said that was not passed over to the anime and stuff like that it's kind of intriguing to see that because i don't read the manga but you know what i'm saying nobody has ever complained about the how the anime has translated what goes on in the manga like i've never seen anybody complain about it or you know like how they would complain about say a show like naruto or one piece and stuff like that like you know people have said that the anime has done a very good job of you know leaving stuff out that don't necessarily need to be done or stuff like that um or whatever the situation is they've always done a good job so i said let me check it out i saw the video it popped up in, in my stuff in my timeline on youtube i said let me check out this video and see what you know how the manga looks especially the drawing and stuff like that because i've never really checked it out before um so it was pretty cool to see like certain conversations that happened in the manga they didn't translate it over in the anime but it was not like anything super important that they left out um so it was pretty cool there was some switches that happened too um so we'll see how it goes i'm gonna continue to watch those videos after i react to the episodes to kind of see what they're leaving out versus what what they're leaving in um, and so maybe I can have a better understanding of certain things because the anime doesn't seem like it does, um, an extreme job of, as I said, certain dialogue that happens in the manga. Um, they kind of shorten certain things and they don't go into depth because they feel like some things are just better left unseen for a certain time or something like that because there's certain things that are aforementioned in the manga that you know that you would know before it even shows up at a certain time help you to understand a little bit better about what's going on but hey we're watching the anime so we'll see how that goes maybe i'll talk about some of those things um just from me just watching those videos but we'll see anyways let's dive into episode three and let's see what what more they have planned we still haven't seen our main cast yet because they're trying to kind of build up what's going on over in marley whatever the, the country or what you know they call it whatever um so i'm i'm just trying to understand things and that's what i'm paying uh, i'm paying when it comes on to attack on titan you do you can't really watch a titan attack on titan with a whole bunch of excitement because you will miss things by getting too excited now i'm not saying you can't watch watch it over and pick up on things but because i'm more than likely only going to watch these episodes once for now and then maybe later on i might binge watch the entire series again 
I have to pay attention because I don't want to miss much. You get what I'm saying? Because no matter how many times you watch something, there's always going to be something that you probably missed or didn't pick up on that was, you know, foreshadowing or whatever the situation is. So I'm trying to catch as much as possible. What's the most intriguing thing about this right now for me is actually Reiner. Reiner is really, really like very interesting to see you know certain things that he's mentioned he's talked about you know how he mingled with the people and calling them demons and stuff like that for these very simple reasons and i'm like that doesn't sound demonizing at all so why even mention it but that's just it's just the way how his mind works and the, and the, and the brainwashing that i talked about that goes on for these um for these guys these eldians it's like the brainwashing that they come under it's like you know i've asked the question why don't they just get up and just fight back you know and, it, and it's, it's just so weird that they have these titan powers and they can turn into titans that they can they themselves can control and they just won't destroy the marlies and i just i i, I just don't understand why that has never clicked you get what i'm saying even even with zeke you know what I'm saying? I, I, I guess he's called the golden boy or whatever they call him because, you know what I'm saying? He gave up his parents. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, his loyalty is basically on question, to be honest, with Marley. I don't know if, I don't know if, let me not get into too much because I'm talking too much now. Let's get to the reaction and I'll have all the talking for the review. Alright, so that was episode 3 of season 4 for Attack on Titan, man. And um, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Reiner's, more of Reiner's backstory, right? Very interested to, to see what his motivation were, was in the first place. And then he kind of lost that motivation and just did it because, you know, he just wanted to be a hero to kind of like give his mom some semblance of the world she wanted or the dream she wanted because you know he believes that if he became an honorary marlian that you know they you know based on what happens if you become a, a, a warrior per se right you get the special treatment and your immediate family gets that special treatment too you guys um i know a couple of people did explain that to me in the in the comment section on my last video um you know so that's what motivated him to become a warrior all right then to also move from that and then find out that you weren't even qualified like dude talked you up because he didn't want his brother to, be, to become a titan right or become a warrior right he talked reiner up because reiner wanted it so bad but also he wanted to save his brother from becoming a becoming a warrior because he didn't want him to have to go through you know this warring and all of this other stuff to kind of save him from it and then freaking and then he ends up getting eaten you know what I'm saying? So, man, Marcel, true G, but ended up losing his life, you know, so, such a random, in such a random way, you know, um, it, it's just so crazy. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. He, he did what he, he woke up um, and he was saying, oh, let's go home. But the thing about it is this. Reiner kind of he kind of um in that situation I think he was the one with the level head even though it seemed like Annie was the one with the level head I'm like what's to stop them from like y'all from saying y'all are incompetent I'm just gonna let these other dudes do it because you guys just failed what makes you think that they're gonna be like oh only Reiner failed that doesn't make any sense because they sent you out here as a group and in military i can tell you this in any military there's a thing called scattershot especially um i don't know if that's what they call it in every military but 
I know when I was in military school, that's what we call it, scattershot. If one person in your group fails a mission, everybody get punished. That's just how it is. They don't just punish the leader. They don't just punish the leader. The leader can take responsibility for everything that happens, but they don't just punish the leader. The whole groups get punished. If, if somebody's going to get demoted, everybody getting demoted. That's just how it is. We sent you out here as a group. Yes, you have commanding officers, but at the end of the day, if, if the captain is getting demoted, everybody's getting demoted. And if they can't demote you, you get severe punishment. Everybody getting something. It's not going to be just because that one person made that mistake. They're going to be like, all of y'all should have been on point. So you don't make that mistake. And in any military, that's how it goes. So I don't see them. So off the bat, I was like, Why, what makes y'all think that if y'all go back home now and tell them, hey, Marcel died because of, you know, Reiner, which is not, is really not his fault. But they were just kind of sitting there in a way and you know what I'm saying like stuff happened and then he ran away and left them and thinking that they were both dead so they so you know and he's thinking if I tell them hey he ran away he didn't even check for us you know what I'm saying that they wouldn't be punished too then they're gonna be like ah uh, where's where, where's the jaw titan what <laughs> what's good <laughs> you know what I'm saying oh we lost the jaw titan you know um all y'all gotta take responsibility for that Y'all was just chilling at a fire. What are you going to throw in their face? Oh, they told us that Titans were out this far. Nah, they not going to go with that. They just going to get three new people. <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? The class was pretty big. They could just get three new people and plan for the mission again. Because y'all didn't even hit the, the island yet. Y'all didn't get there yet. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so in terms of that, man, I just think that you know reiner took the right approach and I, and I and i really do commend him for that for looking at it from a different perspective and be like what makes you think that i'm the only one that's going to get punished you know what i'm saying and he you know put a beating on him and he got back up and he's like yo reiner is dead you know what i'm saying i'll do whatever it takes you know in those terms but at the same time the way how i look at this and and how it's going to play out you know um i think reiner was the one that had the gun in his mouth like he wanted to kill himself or something of the sort and then um dude the little dude what's his name again i can't remember his name the one that wants to become a titan they have so many characters that look alike in this in in the that looks very similar now it's kind of hard to tell sometimes when they switch from the past to the present especially in this episode so it's kind of hard for me to tell like who was in the 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 room right where reiner had the gun right and then after i realized oh crap it's reiner they transitioned to him and then it's the kid that out there that wants to inherit the armor titan over the girl you know that we've been seeing over the past two episodes I don't remember their names. Don't ask me. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it takes me a while to get used to names. Um, but then at the end of the episode, we got to see um, who I believe to be. It's got to be Aaron. It's got to be him um, because of the green eyes. I think that's why they made sure they had a close-up shot of his face. So you, re even though you don't really... Because at first I was saying... This kind of looks like Aaron, but at the same time, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, why is he, why does he have one eye covered up, and he's missing a, 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 a whole leg? Like, that's not the Aaron we know, so why, why is this coming up? We know that once you turn into a Titan, all that stuff goes away, but at the same time, it's just like, why? What happened? You know what I'm saying? Why have you lost a leg and an eye? You know what I'm saying? And he's much older which is understandable because you know reiner them is much older now and stuff like that and if i'm guessing it's within that same year that Aaron got the, the titan power so they pretty much have the same amount of time to live if not you know maybe months apart but not i don't think it's like years apart i think it's like months apart um so we'll see how it goes anyways 
appreciate you guys that that was pretty cool that they involved Aaron at the end there giving that that speech I'm gonna watch that speech again from the perspective of Aaron because at first I was wondering who it is but now I'm gonna go back and watch it from Aaron speaking you get what I'm saying because as I said I'm 90% sure that's Aaron because there's nobody else that they portray with green eyes in the show so I'm thinking it's got to be him so anyways guys thank you guys for tuning in as always man i'm enjoying these episodes these flashbacks these dialogues are uh, or they're fire i like them very much you guys know how much i enjoy that over here um so appreciate y'all man for tuning in watching these episodes hopefully you guys leave a like on the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace